What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger of Comedia back with another Dokkan Battle video. Welcome to a very special showcase on the channel today. The king of Dokkan has finally made his triumphant return to global and I'm very excited to show you guys what he can do in this video. So without further ado, here we go. Oh, by the way, by the way, look at these freaking stats guys. Those are borderline summonable LR stats right there, taking him on a fusions team, of course. But yeah, as far as stats go, from what I've seen, this guy is in the top 20 for highest attack in the game right now, even among the LRs. I believe on global, he's currently fifth. And on JP, he's somewhere around probably 20th or so, or 19th, something like that. But either way, for a unit that's technically, what, like three years old at this point? To have him be buffed to such a significant degree is absolutely insane. And that's just talking about his stats, right? We're not talking about the buffs that he got for his leader skill, for his passive, and all that crazy stuff. Now, for anybody that has a comment about why I'm not running AGL Gogeta, if you guys are subscribers, right? You guys have been around for a while. You guys know. You guys know why I'm not running AGL Gogeta. But if you haven't, been on the channel before it's your first time being here or you you know don't watch me too much let me just tell you that the broly and gogeta banners have treated me very very badly <laughs> this is by far the worst major celebration i've ever experienced in my time playing dokkan in the over two years that i've played this game it's been awful guys and uh there's nothing else i can say but that's all i'm gonna say on that topic it's gonna take me a while to get over the absolute uh, annihilation that this banner handed me. And you know, I just realized that I probably didn't change my name. <laughs> so what happened was in the beginning of the stream, uh, when I was doing the Extreme Z battle for Gogeta, actually at the end of it, people told me to change my name to Nano, to do a multi, to try one more time to pull the Gogeta. So I did, I changed my name to Nano because so many people were telling me to do it. And uh, I totally forgot to change my name back. So that's why my name is Nano at the beginning of this video. <laughs> if you guys are fans of Nano, that's awesome. Hope you're not too upset about it. Um, if Nano for some reason is watching this video, which I doubt he is, he's a very busy man, making his own content, all that stuff. But if you are watching this, then I uh, hope you don't, you know, don't get upset about that either. Hope you take it as a compliment. And uh, unfortunately, your luck didn't work for me. All right, so I tried changing my name to Nano, did the multi, got trash. As always, so uh, I'm not trying anymore, guys. It's it's just not worth it for me. I can't pull anything good on these banners, and I think it's gonna stay that way. So we finally have Gogeta in a rotation. We gave him one Rainbow Orb, and speaking of Rainbow Orbs, they're actually very important for this unit. So I'll talk about what this guy does right now. So his leader skill is now all types key plus three, HP, attack, and defense plus 77%, which actually makes him one of the better Rainbow like all types leaders in this game. As you can see, he's tanking quite well, by the way. 81 damage for a regular hit from the Broly. Tax that went up to about 2.1 million. And we're hitting for 1.9 million damage, which is awesome. Okay, so his passive is attack and defense. Okay, super attack, actually. Let's go back to super attack. Immense damage lowers attack and defense. And his passive is attack and defense plus 77% and attack plus 7% per rainbow key sphere obtained tax effective against all types of course which is a hallmark of Gogeta's in this game so first things first 77% on his attack and defense doesn't seem like a crazy high number right I know it doesn't seem like a very impressive number but especially when we're getting units these days that are getting you know 150% to 200% buffs on their passive I just messed up the orbs there but it's okay not a big deal um, but the fact that this guy has such high defense and attack means that that 77% actually goes a long way, especially for the attack, because he has over 20,000 attack, right? And he also gets an additional 7% per rainbow key sphere obtained, which uh, is, is awesome. Like I said, because he has a very high attack stat, and you combine that with the fact that he does effective against all... Oh my god, am I gonna die? Oh no! <laughs> and we're back! So, quick pro tip, pay attention! when you're fighting the physical Broly because he does a lot of damage. So now I know, and in fact, I'm actually gonna use, um, you know what, let's use a Ghost Usher just to be safe because I don't want to die straight away. I actually had to replay the entire event over again to get this point because I was not about to spend a Dragonstone. So here we go, guys. 
Uh, this time, we're going to pay more attention. We're going to make sure we don't die. We've got two rainbow orbs right there. So 2.3 million attack stat. And he's going to hit for over 2 million. All right. Oh, I love this unit so much. I loved him before he got his EZA. But you have no idea how much more I love him now. I love the fact. You know what I really enjoy? I really enjoy the fact that... Um, oh, actually, let's not tank with him. Uh, are we going to die? You know what? Let's, can we use another Ghost Usher? We can't. Okay, we're going to do that. <laughs> Man, I do not trust any of these units to tank right now. So we're going to try to save as many of these Rainbow Orbs for our boy Gogeta as possible. Um, yeah, okay. So the most Rainbow Spheres, by the way, guys, that you can uh, use in one rotation is five. And that's because of the way the Rainbow Spheres or work. They only... Um, Basically, they don't, they don't burst, right? So you can't get like 10 or a whole board of Rainbow Spheres at once. That would have been insane, right? Imagine getting like 30 Rainbow Spheres, 30 times 7 for the Gogeta, but it doesn't work like that. Uh, so the most we can get is 5. I don't think we're going to be able to get 5, but I mean, even with like 2 or 3, he still does incredible damage. So we have 3 here, so we'll, we'll go with that. 3 for Gogeta right there. And uh, the rest doesn't really matter. Of course, these guys benefit from rainbow orbs as well because they get extra key. Oh, man. Okay, so this is actually a good test. This is a tank test to see how much damage or how much we can eat this Super 4 from the Roly. Probably the hardest hitting Super in the game right now. 77,000. As far as Dokkan events, of course. 77,000. 2.3 mil attack stat. Can we get a crit? Let's get a crit right there. Not a crit. No additional either, but we almost killed Broly right there. If this man crits additionals, he almost basically takes down this Broly by himself, man, in the final stage, which is wild considering he's one of the hardest Dokkan events in this game. And also, one thing I want to mention is that this team, this Fusions team, and also I don't have AGL Gogeta, right? With AGL Gogeta, it would be even better, but this team in its current iteration that I'm using right now without AGL Gogeta absolutely annihilates the Broly event, man. I that was actually a slow run right there because I was like taking my time to make sure that like I don't die and everything. But normally with this team, I can take down the Broly event in like I don't know, probably three and a half minutes, which is crazy, man. It's absolutely crazy. Okay, um, let me find another LR Gogeta friend right there. I could bring an LR or a AGL Gogeta, I know, but. I don't want the AGL Gogeta to kind of take over the showcase, right? Because we know how much of a monster that Gogeta is. And uh, if he was on this team, he would absolutely take over. And the focus would be stolen from our STR Gogeta, which we don't want. So we're going to keep going with the LR Gogeta leads. It's the same leader skill at the end of the day, right? It's just that the Gogeta Blue has an extra movie bosses uh, category leader skill. So there you go, guys. Uh, one thing I didn't mention is the STR Gogeta's links. Golden Warrior, Super Saiyan, Prepare for Battle, Over in a Flash, Fuse Fighter, and Fierce Battle. So he has an incredible, incredible link set. And uh, that just makes him an even better unit, right? That's all I can really say. Um, okay, what should we do here? So we'll give him one orb here, and we can give him one Rainbow Sphere. I wish there was an item. I wish there was an item that could change. Actually, I could have brought the Ghost Tanks. Could have brought the Ghost Tanks. I wasn't really thinking. I could have brought the Ghost Tanks to change the Spheres to Rainbow and give him as many Rainbow Spheres as possible. So maybe I should reset this stage. Mm, nah, he's doing just fine. It's all good. You guys, you guys get the idea. He gets really, really strong with the more Rainbow Spheres you give him. But if you only give him one or two, he still does absolutely stupid amounts of damage, man. Like, look at this man just one-shotting people with his super right now. Ah, <sighs> so happy, man. So happy he's on global now. Let me know if you guys have your Ojita's Extreme Z awakened as well. Maybe you're struggling a little bit. If you guys are, then um, you can join my Discord actually. Just a little plug for the Discord. I have a Discord with a team building channel where people can help you out with building your team. So that's an option if you guys want. Of course, nobody has to do anything they don't want to. It's just an option that's out there. Uh, oh, last but not least. His categories are fusion and movie heroes. I'm sure you guys already knew that. So only two categories at the moment, but they're two very, very good categories. So I don't think that's a huge deal. And I'm sure he'll get more in the future. So this is him with no rainbow spheres. As you can see, his attack isn't as high as it was previously because it doesn't get the extra boost, but it still goes up to over 2 million, man. <laughs> still over 2 million without the rainbow boost. And 1.7 mil also decreased Android 17's attack and defense. 
And this guy has a barrier up now, but we don't have to worry about that as far as Ojita goes. Okay, two rainbow. Hmm. Okay, we'll go with two rainbow. I, sh I, I honestly should have brought the ghost tanks because of his ability to change rainbow key spheres. Would have actually made a difference. Here we go. 17 is going to die. 2.6 million with the... Uh, what's her name again? Bullpen? No, not Bullpen. What's her name? Why, why, why am I blanking right now, guys? Why am I blanking right now? I'm going to have to look it up because it's bothering me right now. Uh, Pandel. Pandel. Wow. Wow. Okay. Anyways, Pandel <laughs> gave us that 30% attack. We got our Gogeta to transform. So is he, is this, is this rotation, is this event over? Because with all three of these guys, these guys are all doing like 2 million plus damage. Uh, it could be GG. Could be GG for 17. 2.7 mil. Super effective, of course. And he's going to do about 2 million damage, I'm guessing. Maybe a little bit more. 1.6, okay. And there's SJ3 Gotenks doing 2.2. Oh my god, this team is too strong for showcases, man. This team is too strong for showcases. Because the events just, like, end too quickly. <laughs> Unless we die. I mean, Gotenks is a bit of a liability when it comes to tanking, because he really can't tank at all. Don't die, don't die, don't die, don't. Ah, oh, he's dead, okay. And for the last run, let's do LR Gogeta's event. Alright, actually, no. You know what? I'm not going to bring this rainbow friend because it's too OP. We're going to bring a free dupe friend. And, oh, the team didn't change the... Oh, it's because we ran it with this last time. So we're going to put in ghost tanks again. There we go. Alright, let's see if we can get five rainbow spheres for Gogeta. That would be freaking phenomenal. But I think you guys already can tell, man. This guy is an absolute monster. They made him so freaking strong. And I do really like the fact that Bandai is not scared to do that, man. They're not scared to make a four or three year old unit. Probably coming on three and a half years at this point. Um, and making them like super super OP man. I, I I really appreciate that about Bandai. Of course, I do have my bombs, you know, I, especially with this re recent shafting like it's been hard to be positive in any way about this company that makes Dokkan, but at the same time uh, I can appreciate I, by the way if you guys are noticing like I'm not really making giving these guys key It's because I want to save those rainbow key spheres or Gogeta, but you know what, I do appreciate the fact that Bandai is really buffing these old units hard. And it's not just a little bit, man. They're buffing them to the point where they become some of the best units in the game. Like, Ojita by far is, I gotta say, in the top and Definitely in the top 10 TURs, not including LRs, of course. Top 10 TURs, better than some LRs for sure. And uh, they're all like that, man. Tech Beerus is amazing. SSJ3 Goku is amazing. They're just all fantastic units. So we didn't get five Rainbow Key Spheres, but we got three here. Which is still okay. Still okay. But hopefully we can get five at some point in this event. That is if LR Gogeta doesn't die too fast because the team is kind of crazy. Okay, 2.3 million again. And 2.5. Finish with a 2.5. Damn, that, that effective against all is just too... Too OP, man. Way too OP. Not complaining, though. Obviously, like, I'm not gonna complain about the fact that they made <laughs> made him super strong, because, you know, I own him. And I, I love the fact that he's so strong. Oh, man. There's not much else to say. There's really not much, not much else to say. Hope you guys are enjoying your STR Gogetas. And if you guys don't have STR Gogeta, by the way, um, I wouldn't necessarily say it's a bad idea to summon on the EZA banner that's available right now, but at the same time, you gotta keep in mind that LR Gogeta, not LR Gogeta, sorry, the uh, STR Gogeta will be available for free once the next Red Dragonstone comes out. So he was added to the pool of Red Dragonstone units you can select from, so he's gonna be available um, to choose from that pool when we get the free Red Dragonstone, probably for the four-year anniversary, which about four months away so it's gonna take some time i finally got additional man finally got additional from gogeta but it's gonna take some time but if you want to be patient uh it will be worth it and you will be able to get your own str gogeta without spending any stones i'm just saying it's an option right it's an option that's available to everybody 
but once again, it's your stones, it's your money, so you guys can do whatever you want. Yo, I'm so upset that I don't have Gogeta in this rotation right now, because we could actually give him four rainbows, but maybe if we preserve those, we can still get it going after. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so I'm going to keep those rainbow key spheres there. Hopefully, we can get another couple of them coming in in a bit. I feel like the most we're going to be able to get is three still, which kind of sucks, but... You know what, it's going to be a really rare situation where you're getting five rainbows, but getting two to three on average is already pretty good, and his damage output is nothing to scoff at at that level, man. If we got five, he might be doing like three million plus, but even right now, ooh, man, that counter came in clutch, that counter came in clutch. Uh, but don't do too much damage though, guys, because we're still trying to see the STR Gogeta here. Still trying to see the STR Gogeta, stop trying to stand up. Or, uh, stand, what's the expression? Stand him up? Something like that? I don't know, just like outshine him. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, finally we got the last rotation here with Gogeta here and also with the Pandel, which is fantastic. Uh, mm -hmm. how do we How do we play this? How do we play this? Actually, I feel like we can only get three. We can only get two. All right, I guess we're, we're getting two. Because <laughs> if I put the Gotenks in the front and let him attack first, He's definitely going to kill Gogeta. So we're going to keep it like this. Two Rainbow Key Spheres along with uh, Pandel for the 30% support. And we're going to get about 1.8 million damage off on LR Gogeta who has a pretty decent amount of damage reduction. So there you go guys. That is STR Gogeta, Fully Extreme Z Awakened for you. Definitely the king of Dokkan once again. He reigns supreme over Int. Gogeta. STR Gogeta is an absolute monster. I didn't have to really tell you guys. You guys probably already knew, but now you can see with like numbers and just like actual evidence. You see before your eyes of how freaking amazing he is. And uh, thank you Bandai for making him so good, man. Thank you so much. They, they could have just buffed all these EZA units a little bit. And I think a lot of people still would have been like mildly satisfied, but instead they made them absolutely insanely powerful. And I'm not upset about that. So that's going to do it for the showcase, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, if you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, Make sure to hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. That's all I gotta say. I'm out of here. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.